My name is Doug Miller Fleek. I'm a body worker here at Zazen. I remember, I remember vividly my first Thai massage uh, in, in Bangkok when I was about 20 years old. Um, I really, I felt like it was the first time I was in my body. I, I, you know, after that 60 or 90 minutes, I like left and I just, I felt like, oh my, I really felt like I couldn't believe what I was walking around in. It was just nice to think like, well, I, I could kind of do that. You know, I can kind of give that to people, that sense of like being in their body, um, being in their spirit, being in their emotions, just being very uh, alive in that process of being just a human. So I, I started my formal training um, at the Berkeley Acupressure Institute before it closed. And that was a really unique, unique environment because it was all centered around Asian bodywork. So I was trained in Twina, uh, acupressure, Jin Chin Jitsu, uh, Zen Shiatsu, Ashiatsu, Craniosacral. Um, and then that's where I met my, my teacher, Edward Spencer, who uh, teaches a style of Shiatsu called Ashiatsu, or Barefoot Shiatsu. Shiatsu means finger pressure in Japanese. Um, it's basically the application of uh, concentrated perpendicular force on the tsubos or the, the, the acupressure meridians, the points on the acupressure meridians. So if you think about like a deep tissue works with like, the, the fascia and the, and the mus muscle kind of hat attachments and things. Shiatsu is basically a different language of the body. Uh, one working with chi and the meridians. Mm. So it works with moving uh, stuck chi. Initially, a lot of people have just blockages. Um, the more that blockages start getting opened up, the more that chi can flow smoothly. And the more chi flows smoothly, the more the body is just self-correcting. And um, people have insights. People tell me they're like realizing stuff about themselves. Um, you know, it's similar to acupuncture and the fact that it's tr trying to get different points to speak to, to each other. It's different than acupuncture and the fact that acupuncture it says, you know, let me see your tongue, let me feel your pulse, and let me basically hear your problems and then try to create some sort of protocol and then get, you know, several points speaking to each other. Um, whereas in shiatsu, it's basically like, we push all the points and your body self-corrects, you know? And it, so it's, it's more like an, it's, it's an, um, enabling your own inherent capacity to heal, you know? I mean, we have, we have uh, you know, chi is... Our chi is pretty miraculous. It, it, when I practice shiatsu or when I practice craniosacral or medical qigong, you know, I'm not really thinking about anything. I'm just kind of feeling and sensing and just responding. So I think as I'm as I'm working and I'm feeling different meridians, certain meridians or certain um, areas in the in the body or in the abdomen um, catch more attention, hmm. and there can be an inquiry into something deeper. I find that shiatsu is the most holistic way of treating someone. That's why I focus most of my attention. I'm, I'm interested in all forms of body work, but for me, shiatsu feels the most, most holistic. So uh, one of the ways that uh, shiatsu differs from uh, zen shiatsu is uh, the use of feet. So shiatsu is finger pressure, so ah uh, shiatsu is no finger pressure. <laughs> there's a there's a, something wrapped up in our hands that's tied to the intellect that I think gets confusing. So I like working with my feet because I just, I don't, I trust them. Uh, I trust my hands too, but um, I really trust my feet. And the pressure feels really good. Like the pressure is really, you know, when I receive this work, uh, I just feel like I can melt in a way that um, I haven't been able to do on the table. Receive, you know, as a receiver. Mm -hmm. So I, I fell in love with this as a receiver, so that's why I wanted to give it. Unfortunately, not a lot of people practice it, so I don't really get a chance to receive it as much, which is okay.